There's been no hotter area for venture capital investment than financial technology. While the dollars flowing into the industry startups has declined in recent years, venture capitalists continue to invest heavily in startups within the financial services industry. The innovations receiving such investments can be categorized into three overriding themes. Number one, reaching the markets not served by tra traditional financial services. Number two, the rise of more advanced payments personalization. And number three, how the arrival of the mobile phone to the masses has ushered in complete financial mobility. The first theme of innovation I'll discuss is tapping into the untapped market. Reaching the segment of the society without access to banking products has become a core theme to many recent innovations coming to the market today. The untapped market often refers to the larger unbanked or underserved populations, but also may more narrowly focus on further subsets of the population, such as youth. Innovations around this theme attempt to reduce the consumer pain points that prohibit unbanked consumers from becoming members of the financial mainstream. The obstacles in bringing new consumers into the financial mainstream fold are often related to a general misunderstanding of financial products, a distrust of financial institutions, and a long-standing cultural tradition of paying with paper, or even a lack of necessary infrastructure in a given market. The second theme of innovation is around increased payments personalization. In today's world where consumers have many more payment choices, it is that much more important for financial institutions to not only preserve, but also drive value around these existing relationships. Personalization has moved beyond just simply printing the cardholder's alma mater on their card. Increasingly, personalization is also becoming that much more tailored to the individual consumer. As the payments industry begins to shift to a mobile-first environment, the unique qualities of this device will enable a more meaningful engagement that will be needed to retain the consumers of tomorrow. For example, the mobile device can be used to help people determine what cards should be used based on rewards tied to the card, or provide cardholders with flexibility in terms of repayment options at the point of purchase. The third theme of innovation is the emergence of full financial mobility. Financial institutions are in the early days of being able to connect with consumers across all parts of their financial life. Already, consumers in many markets can view account history, send money to friends, and deposit paper checks all from a mobile device. Of course, the mobile phone also has the potential to be transformative in the way that consumers shop and pay for goods and services, both online and in-store. While banks may sit in a favorable position to become the de facto mobile wallet provider due to their standing relationship with consumers, Non-traditional financial companies such as retailers, mobile networks, and mobile phone manufacturers have also entered the mix.